Well guys, welcome back to another episode and today I'm actually on a high rock lake and I'm going after some crappie and I'm hoping to keep a few There's a new recipe I'm wanting to try so and then I also want to keep a few for catfish bait if I get enough But uh, there's actually the dock I'm almost to uh, a couple months back I caught a lot of crappie on it So I'm gonna head back there see if they're still around um, If not, then I'll have to go searching but unfortunately the water is extremely low So I think you guys can see on the camera, but um it might mess us up a little bit, but we'll see. Almost to the dock. Hopefully, we can catch some. Alrighty, there's the, or was the magical dock. We'll see if it still is. I was just right by that piling, dropping minnows straight down, live ones, and it was getting smoked. But uh, we'll try artificial first, just for the fun of it. And I know there's some limbs in the water right here too, so. Good, something might, ooh, hey guys, I already got one. What? I already got one, guys. That quick. Ooh, that's a good one. Look at there. First crappie of today is a keeper big one. That is awesome, guys. Look at there. First cast, first one of the morning. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at there, guys. First cast, first one. Not a huge one, but I'm gonna take it. That's awesome. Yes. Gonna get him on a stringer and hopefully catch a whole bunch more well guys that was amazing just to throw in and just get a crappy that quick was awesome because i had no idea if they were still here so especially with the water this low so being it hit that quick i'm sure there's some more down there over there is where i was catching them before so see if anything else is around over here oop just got nailed Got him. Got him. Okay, a small one, really small. But I'm gonna actually keep him because that's really good catfish bait. Yes, guys, you don't know how stoked I am just to catch fish. I've been struggling to catch fish lately. And just to get a couple and a, two casts is awesome. So he's tiny, but that'll be perfect catfish bait. And I've been needing some. feeling that thump. Crappy have a distinct thump when they hit the lure. Slowly jigging it across the bottom. Ooh, good fish. Good fish. I just picked up. Or well, it felt like a good fish. Probably not as big as it felt, but Actually, that's a pretty chunky one right there. Might not be long, long, but that's a chunky one. Wow, guys, I found him again. <laughs> Another one, guys, and that's a really nice one. Really chunky, I'll be really good eating. And I have a new recipe I'm really wanting to try. I'm gonna try one where I drop one straight down. I hooked into a really big one there. Um, couple months back so I'm gonna see if maybe I could do that again they seem to hold like pretty close onto that ooh good one good one Decent fish. Another chunker. There we go. Yes. There we go, guys. Another gorgeous one. Get them on a stringer. Well, guys, I just got broke into or hooked into something and broke off. But when you rig these, you want to just stick them in there barely, and then you want to make sure they're laying flat. Actually, here, let me see if I can show you better. You want to make sure they're flat just like that because that's they'll sink perfectly in the water if you don't do that they won't nope just got a bite picked up yes there we go guys another another one kind of skinny but we'll take him there we go and a little bit smaller but that'll be good catfish bait too 
well guys this is awesome i already got like four or five so this is great i'm hoping to get a little bit bigger maybe but uh we'll see i haven't even tried the live bait yet and i'll probably will here in a little bit but uh still getting bites with our officials so what's up man Yeah, four or five. Have you tried any other places coming up this way? No. It's actually the first time I fished for crappie in a long time. Yeah. But I've been doing horrible lately on fishing, so it's just nice to catch a couple. Son and I like to fish here, so please Well guys, they've stopped biting the artificial, so I'm going to switch over to some live minnows and see if that makes a difference. But uh, hopefully so. There we go, finally. I don't think that's a crappie unless it is. Oh, no, it's a bass. That's cool. Nice little bass. Change it up a little bit. There we go. Well, guys, there we go. A little unexpected bycatch. Had uh, something bit it or something right there. Hurt a little bit, but that's pretty cool. That's why you can catch about anything on them live minnows. Get on back down there. Go. Do what? Just the four or five. Did you keep that bass? No. Me. Yeah. yeah. Um. So come as often as you like and and catch crappies like mm -hmm. like I do. All I ask is just try not, just don't mm -hmm. stay until they're all fished out. Because mm -hmm. then I can't catch anything. There's yeah. a lot of good fears up through here that have crappies on them, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, I actually don't come out here that much. It's just I haven't been catching nothing lately, so. Oh, I, I get it. But mm -hmm. what I have is that I've got boaters that come here every day. Oh, well, multiple mm -hmm. boaters, and they sit here, and they just catch it. Oh, my gosh. there's no fish left. And then yeah. when I run my son along, my, my grandson down here, I can't catch mm -hmm. anything. Well guys, I'm gonna put a minnow on and just have it sitting in the water because it doesn't seem to be working that well. And then I'm gonna put another gulp minnow on, but uh, unfortunately the owner came down and <laughs> started fishing. He, he he did it to me last time I was down here and then did it again. He doesn't like people fishing down here. Um, and I get it, I mean, but it's a public lake, so I don't know what he expects. But uh, he complains you're gonna take all your his fish and all that stuff, but. Like I said, it's a public lake, so I don't know. But uh, I'd have probably caught a lot more if he hadn't done that. But I have a feeling he does it to about everybody. Well, guys, the bite has pretty much died. So what I'm going to do is put on an actual crappy jig and uh, give that a try and see what happens. And then maybe move on if I'm not getting anything. But uh, I would have had a chance at some of the crappy over here. But he went over there and caught a whole bunch. So, But uh, I might go to the other side and see if there's anything biting over there, too. 
got one finally guys there we go that's a decent one decent crappy guys yes finally got one to bite there we go that's a good one too guys there we go guys that's more what i'm wanting a little bit bigger that's awesome and it's been a little while since i got a bite so maybe that crappy jig is what i need Ooh, got one guys just reeling it in finally got another one. Oh, he got off right there man that was a good one too rats all right guys i'm not really getting no bites or few and far between so i'm gonna switch back to a live minnow going right along there and see what happens Ooh, I got a fish on. Haha, <laughs> didn't even know he was on. Yes. There we go, guys. Didn't even know he was on, just switching to fish with this and got him. Tell you what, that's awesome. There he is, guys, another one. All right, I'm just gonna sit this down, get up my other one. And cast that around while that's just sitting in the water. Oop, I think it might be. Might have got a bite. Yep, I think I've got a bite. Got one. Yep. I thought so. Ooh, that's a decent fish. At least it felt. I mean, it's fighting like a decent fish. Hey, not bad, guys. There we go. Had to leave it down there for a while. But we got us another nice one. Get him back on here. There we go. There we go, guys. Finally. Finally got another one, guys. And that's a decent one, so... Yep. Just Newton, your and consider it. You know that, you? My grandson's two. He's coming today. Well, you do know I've only I've only caught like four since you've been left. Here for over an hour. And I hardly caught anything until just recently. Cause ever since you came down here, it's the bite's hardly been here. So I've caught like so four since you left. Until there's no more fish to catch. No, there's plenty that's of fish exactly in here. What you're doing. That's exactly what I asked you not to do. But you're no. doing it. There is no, plenty I, of fish I in here. Stop you, but you're rude and inconsiderate, and I hope you can live with yourself. Okay. Well, guys, I had a little spat with the owner, and I decided actually to head on because I was about to head on anyways when he came down there. And uh, just saying I was rude for catching all his fish and staying there more than an hour and all that. Even though since he left, I only caught like four more fish. But uh, it's just hilarious. I mean, I don't know what he was expecting on a public lake. But uh, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to go try a uh, different dock. There's actually one I saw from Google Maps that really looked good. So I just want to run up there, try that. And then, you know, there's plenty of other docks I can try. So, Well, I'm coming up on the dock that look pretty good from google maps and i'm not sure how deep it is but it does look promising there might be something on it probably start with a live minnow and usually that'll tell you if there's something there if it gets bit so yeah unfortunately it's not too deep here but 
We'll see what happens. Well guys, unfortunately I didn't get no more, but I'm thankful for the ones I did get. And uh, <laughs> unfortunately ran into a Karen too, but sometimes that happens in life. But uh, I'm actually gonna head back to the boat ramp, head back to the house, and I'll see you guys back there. All right guys, I'm back at the house, and actually what I'm gonna be doing today is a fish fry. And I believe I've done crappy before, um, breaded, but I don't think I really used a recipe, and it wasn't my favorite. So I'm really actually looking forward to trying this, and seeing how it compares to breaded or non-breaded, but uh, it looks like it's gonna be good. So let's get to cooking. it looks good I'm not sure if I had the oil maybe a little bit too hot I don't know if it was supposed to brown that much or not but we'll see here in a second I'm gonna go ahead and say a prayer and then dig in all right and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a bite without any of the malt vinegar I've actually never tasted malt vinegar that I remember before so I'm gonna try that and then I'll put a little lemon on too but I want to taste it just regular with nothing else on it first You know what? That is very good, but give me a second. I didn't put enough salt on it. It's delicious, like the taste is awesome, but it just needed a hair salt. Let me try it now. It's hot. That is very good with that salt. I just didn't add enough salt, but that's delicious with that salt on it. And uh, let me try, I think you're supposed to just sprinkle the vinegar over it, so I'm just going to pour a little bit on it. Might have been too much, I don't know. It's supposed to add a different flavor, I guess. <clears throat> hmm. It does add a little bit different flavor. Uh, it's actually really good. I like that. Yeah, let me add a little bit of lemon. A little bit more malt. Try all three together. Wow. That's good, guys. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Because I've never really done that before. So, it's actually very good. The It's nice and crunchy on the outside. And the flavor's there. I just need a little bit more salt. And that was it. So that was awesome. Well, guys, it was an amazing day out there besides Mr. Karen. So um, I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for the fish I caught. And that is actually very delicious. But 
I'm not sure if I prefer it non-bread or breaded. I actually like it as a change. I still love it with nothing on it except like salt and pepper. It's still amazing. But breaded like this is actually very amazing too. I really like it. Just to add something a little bit different. But uh, I'm going to call it a night. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Well guys, welcome back to another episode. And today, I actually have a friend of mine coming to fish with me. He should be here in just a little bit. And then we're gonna go after some crappy, gonna keep it really simple, just a bobber and a live minnow underneath. Fishing really shallow, hopefully for some spawning crappy. Now, if we can't find any spawning crappy, then we'll probably go out and fish a little deeper. But uh, just keeping it really simple like that. Um, when he gets here, we'll get out there and hopefully catch some crappy. All right, here he comes. Right on time. No, that should be good. What's hey. up, man? It's been a little bit, man. See ya. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it is. Guys, yeah, this is what you call rednecking it right there. You just tie it on behind. It's you. There you go. Brand new pole, never been used before. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. And I just usually hook them through the mouth. There's really no wrong or right way to do it. Okay. But that's how I normally do it. Here, wait a minute. Let me. All right, you know how to do a. Oh, yeah. Okay. But we'll just be casting right along here and then right along the bank. All right? All right. If you need another minnow, let me know. You're good. All right. I'll tell you what, it's fun bobber fishing though, because of seeing that bobber go under. Titus is like, I thought you actually caught fish. <laughs> Welcome to fishing. Ah, like, oh, I get it now. He only posts the videos when he does catch fish. Yeah. Who wants to watch a video where you don't catch fish? <laughs> Some YouTubers have posted like where, like put on there like going after trout or something and then they never caught a fish and I'm like, I just wasted all my time. <laughs> I know. Uh. Yeah, be careful. Body, 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 careful. You. Got one. Did you really? Yep. But it's a brim, I believe. Oh no, it is a crappy. Well, guys, first crappy of the day. Not a big one at all, but we're gonna keep them, and I'll probably let Titus take them home. He hasn't really had crappy before, so they are delicious. And there's no size or keep limit in here, so. Got them? Nope. I do now, though. Oh, no. look. He's He's in water. Good. He's secure. In sound. So you run them up to the top of the head down or you run them up? To Through the lip. Just to go up the bottom of the lip. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was a big fish. Got one. I was looking at that fish and I got... That, that's, I think that's a crappy. Here, throw it right where I was, bud. Yeah, that's a big one. Right, right, right over in here. But try, let's try not to. Oh, wow, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a big one. Guys, this is more like the crappy we were looking for. Beautiful, big one. Gonna get him on the stringer, but that's awesome. Um, hopefully, we can get Titus one. He hasn't got one yet. I mean, that's who I really want to catch one. So. Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> you're fishing in the same exact spot. <laughs> what my work my stuff is gone oh okay i'll come over there but we'll get him on a stringer that's awesome hope we can catch some more i know you it happens to me all the time you can't you can't even uh couldn't do that if you wanted to how in the world did that happen all right there you go it gets a little sketchy when you start walking out towards that end of the boat. uh yeah <laughs> just a little
Did you get one? Oh, dude, that's awesome. Hey, they might be right there. Here, actually back up out of there. Just, just try not to disturb it. Dude, that's a nice crappy. First one, right? I think so. First one ever. No, that's, that's, a, that's a decent one, man. We'll get him on a string. Let me down. Yeah, <laughs> he thought I was. <laughs> well, guys, we're taking a break for a second. Um, we've come all the way down that side, but we've only found like one here or there. But uh, a couple of them were nice, though. But what we're going to do is fall um, the other side back out, doing the same thing. And then if nothing will, or not that many, we'll go uh, fish a little bit deeper and just drop straight down. But uh, hopefully we can find like a stack of crappie or something like that. But we'll see. Um, we're not doing too bad. we got a couple nice ones. So. All right, guys, we're gonna change stuff up because that wasn't really working. We didn't catch no more. So there's supposed to be some PVC tr like trees under here that they put in the water so that uh, it's like a fish attractor. So we're gonna go over here and try probably drop it straight down and try a few different spots that's supposed to have those kind of trees and see if we can get on some. See, they're fishing for crappy. Got one. That's a decent one. I just felt it load on. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, it is crappy. There we go. There we go, guys. Good one on the deep drop. That might be where they're at. We're in probably about eight foot of water here. And uh, I think I've already had two bites, so that's great. Now I gotta get tied us on some more, hopefully. All right, guys, we made a decision uh, on the other side right here. We're gonna uh, park our boats right here and then walk back in. And there's like a little pond that's made because they have like a culvert over there and the water goes through and it looks actually pretty big. So we're like, you know what, what if there's fish in there? So we're gonna go explore a little bit and uh, hey, you never know. Could be a fishing hot spot. We'll see. All right, let's go. See if we can. That'd be cool if there were a lot of fish in here. Kind huh, of looks like somebody does walk back through here. All right, let's see if we can... Is it right there? I feel like you have to go the trail right there. Nice. More of a well-deformed trail than you think would be. Yeah. Yeah. I fear we can just try right in here. Looks about, looks pretty good. Okay. Is that by the two strikes? Yep. See what it is. Come on, buddy. Hey, it's a crappy. Look at there. Well guys, that's the one I caught and I had to run back and get the stringer and while I was gone, nailed it. One. So it's a great spot. Two. So this is already panning out coming to this little hidden cove area. So hopefully that's just one of many. All right guys, Titus said he just saw a whole bunch of crappy over here. So we're gonna see if we can catch some. My, my bobber might be a little bit too shallow uh, too high I think I'm going down too deep I might need to choke that up a little bit I think you're right though I don't think they're real hungry right here 
well. I mean, everywhere we've been, it's been like one bite and nothing. Yeah. But I mean, we, I mean, actually, for how the bite's been today, we haven't done half bad. Like, we caught some fish. Anytime you catch some fish. Dog. That's a bass, I think. That's a big fish. It's a bass. Oh, he went underneath that. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Look at here. Nice job. Yep. Well, guys, there we go. Bass, not what we're looking for, but I'll take a bass anytime. So, let me get him back in. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Jumped up on the thing. All right, guys, what we're going to do, this was worth coming over here for because we did catch a few. But uh, what we're going to do. We don't have too much longer to stay, so we're going to head back out there, go fish under the bridge for a little bit, and then we'll probably have to head out. But uh, I'm glad just coming over here panned out. Sometimes exploring and trying new spots works. So, uh, unfortunately, the bite just hasn't been, it's been like we'll catch one and that's it. And we'll have to move to a different spot and then we'll catch one and that's it. But I don't know what's going on with them right now or if it's just us, but hopefully we can go get some more under the bridge. Not that deep right in here. Well guys, we're back at the boat ramp. Um, I'm actually going to flay the fish up here in just a minute and let him take it home so he can cook it up. But I think he had a good time. Evan, so. thank you, sir. Yeah. That was an awesome day. It was. It was. Great day out here on, uh, what yeah. uh, what lake is this? I think it's, uh, now that you asked me. <laughs> Tucker Town Reservoir. Yeah, Tucker Town Reservoir. It's awesome. Uh, Good we, day. Thank you for the for the guide. Oh, no I've fished a lot of years yeah. and I always have a hard time catching fish. This guy knows how to hammer them. Yeah, sometimes. It's but it's awesome. it was awesome. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Feel free to check out my merch and I'll see you guys in the next video. And subscribe. Hey up and subscribe. <laughs>
pretty deep, so. Just reel it up a little bit off, and we'll wait for a bite. Come on, be here. I think I might have got a little hit, maybe. Got one, guys. Yes, they're still here. That feels like a decent one. All right, let me get away from this a little bit. Come here. Yes, guys. First drop. They're still here. That's awesome. Yes. Whoops, sorry if I got water on the GoPro. And I was catching bigger ones than this yesterday. So, hopefully, we can get on some more. But there they, he is, but guys, that's awesome. I'm going to get him on a stringer, and then I'm actually, because we caught him, and I know they're still here, I'm going to tie off to that little piling right there, and uh, hopefully we can get some more. I am so stoked that they're still here, because I was afraid they had left. But so, thankfully, we don't have to go search, or, well, I mean, I caught one, so there should be more, so... What I'm going to do is tie off on that little post right there and then just keep dropping straight down and I think we'll get a mess of crappy this morning. That's awesome. All right, guys, got another minnow on here. Just going to drop it straight down. Before, I actually got it quite a bit right here too on the post and right in this little area. So I'm hoping. Hopefully that wasn't just a fluke and they're still around. Morning, how are you? How many have you caught? Just one so far. Came out here the other day and fished, and I wasn't planning on coming back, but I lost all my footage. Cause you I got a GoPro. Yeah, I trying to fish for a living eventually, but uh, lost all my uh, footage because my battery swelled and probably messed my GoPro up too, so. A different color kayak was it the same one same one yeah i have people sometimes will cast back in there and i worry about them catching those uh hoses because if it pierces um my whole float can just fall down and then mm -hmm. cause all kind of problems so i've always tried to be like i'll put this rope here to yeah. keep people from casting back in here i just try to keep an eye on it no i got you i'm just dropping straight down with minnows so do, do me a favor just save me a couple um, I'll save you, you a couple. You're, you're good. But we'll see. Oh, hey, I do got one. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, he's a small one. I'll probably let him go. Well, he ain't that small, but uh, yeah. You might have swallowed yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah, we'll see. Well, guys, I'll probably keep him. He, he, I got him way down in the throat, so he's not a big one, but we'll see what happens. Okay, I got me another pole set up and I'm gonna hang it off the back. Let's see if maybe I can get one off the back here. It's kind of tight, but we'll see. I think I'm gonna bite again, guys. Yep, got one. There we go, guys. That's a that's a decent crap. Huh? There we go. Oh, there we go, guys. Decent crap. Well, guys, there he is. One last look before I get him on the stringer. That's awesome. That's well, awesome. guys, that's awesome to get three already. 
Uh, the other day, the bite was even hotter. I mean, it was just one drop right after the other, but hopefully uh, they'll pick up a little bit, and I'm thankful I'm just catching some fish. Got one. Awesome. Come on, get off of that. <laughs> oh, I keep getting stuck on that thing. Oh, that's a tiny one anyways. Yeah, we ain't gonna keep him. Yep, goodbye. <laughs> down here got one come on buddy wow that's even smaller that's not good guys the other day they were big crappy I was catching here unfortunately I don't want to hurt this one no goodbye Hoping I didn't hurt it too bad. Well guys, I decided to move on because I wasn't doing very well right there. Mostly catching small ones, but I'm, th I'm thankful we caught a few. So, there, this basically is going into a creek right here. And so, way on up, there's like one single dock. And I'm going to try that and see if there's anything on it. Then on the way back, if there's nothing, I'll probably try that dock. And maybe a few other spots, but... It's really cool. It goes into basically a creek, and I've never been up here before, so, and I'm hoping it being like a single dock out here by itself, and I was talking to the owner of the dock I was on, and he said that uh, it's like 10 foot of water right there, but he's never fished it. So, hopefully, there's some crappy on it, and we can get on to some good ones. It was crazy, because, yeah, the other day when I was here, it was just one crappy after another, and they were good size, so it's amazing how the bite changes, but uh, hopefully we can get onto something up here drop it down right by the stick you never know Oop, we got one. We got one, guys. This might be a decent fish. Guys, that's a big perch. Yes. Look at here, guys. That's awesome. That's the first big perch I've ever caught down here. I think I've caught perch before, but that's a really nice perch for down here. It's the biggest perch I've caught down here, and I don't know if I really caught many. I don't think I've caught many perch. I don't know if I've ever even tasted them. I can't remember. Yes. Guys, I know I just went on about it, but that was amazing. That's the first. I mean, I've caught perch in here before, but down south like that, they just do not get big. And that is an eater size, so that is amazing. And I don't think I've actually ever had perch before. I can't remember. Um, if, if I have, it hasn't been often or been like once. So I'm probably going to cook that up when I get home. So that's, And I wasn't even planning on cooking. I just wanted stuff for the freezer, but I really want to try that. Well, the only thing on this dock was that perch, so I'm gonna leave this, and there's a couple like coves, and then there's another dock before the dock I was fishing, and I'm gonna fish all those and see if I uh, can maybe get onto something in those, and then probably stop back by the dock I was on. I don't know if I'll fish it that long, but we'll see. And just to explore a little bit, and hopefully we can get onto something else. But that was cool catching that perch. It's, well, being a keeper, I've caught really tiny ones, but that's awesome. Guys, I was getting a bite for a second, but I think it was just a uh, brim from the way it was biting. All right, guys, we're back over here at this dock where I was catching them before. Let's see if we can get another one here. Guys, that's a fish. 
I didn't even know that was a fish. That's a good one. Yes. That's a good fish. Come on, don't break me off. That's a decent fish. Oh, don't break me. Don't break me. Don't break me. He's on my... Wow, that's a good, good crappy guy. He's a big one. Come on. All right, he got off. Guys, that's a good one. There we go. Yes, guys, that's what we are after. Guys, look at that. That is amazing. Beautiful crappy. That's what we are after or wanting to go after. That is awesome. I'm stoked. That's a really good one. Hopefully we can catch some more like that. That's great. Just need a few more and I'll have a best of fish. That is awesome, guys. I didn't even know he was on there and just picked up and he was on. But that's the size I was hoping to catch out here. So maybe we can catch a couple more. Guys, getting a bite? Go. Actually, that feels like a decent one too, guys. Yes. Yeah, that is a decent crappie. Come here. There we go, guys. Another good one. Yes. Well, guys, here he is. Another beautiful crappie, and that's a really nice one, too. So not quite as big as the other one, but really nice. So just a few more of these and have a good mess of fish. Got one. Decent fish. Decent crappie. He's a keeper. Not as big as the other ones, but he's a keeper. You know what, guys? He's pretty small. I think I'm going to let him go. Yep, I'm going to let him go. Goodbye. This is Well, guys, um, I haven't got a bite here in a while. So what I'm going to do, uh, there's, I think, one more dock I might hit on the way back. But unfortunately, this is the GoPro I only have, like, four batteries for. So it, my battery's about to die, and this is, like, the last one. So, and this right here has power I could use, but I don't know if I can do it on this one. I don't know. I'll have to experiment and see. If I, if I can, I might hang down here a little bit longer, but uh, we'll see. But hopefully when I get back home, I wasn't actually planning on cooking. But since we caught that yellow perch, I'm actually going to probably cook that up and just do like salt and pepper and just do something really simple. But because I want to taste it, I don't think I've actually had yellow perch before, but I'm not really sure. But uh, I'll see you guys down here on, there's a dock I want to try because I caught some uh, crappy there before. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can catch a couple more. Well guys, I hit a couple of docks and nothing, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and head on back to the boat ramp, and then I'll see you guys back at the house when I cook up the yellow perch. Alright guys, I'm back at the house, and what I'm going to do is very simple. Let me show you what I'm going to do, and that is just put some salt on the fish and then just cook it in butter. And I, I'm really just wanting to see what it tastes like and compare it to like either crappy or like a brim or whatever, because I don't think I've ever had yellow perch before, but I can't remember. So. I'm looking forward to this. Let's get to cooking. All right, so I'm gonna do is just a little bit of salt, and it doesn't need to be much at all. Just a little bit. I'm just more interested in tasting it and seeing exactly what it tastes like compared to some of the other fish. So, let me turn this on. All right. Just need to melt my butter. I got my boys right here. They were wanting to watch me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> These should not take very long to cook. They're very thin. This was a little bit thicker, so it might need just a hair longer. All right, guys, it looks really good. I'm gonna pray for it real quick, and then we'll eat. All right, I'm gonna taste it. And like I said, I think this is the first time I've ever had yellow perch, but we will see. Whoop. But it's just a little white piece of meat, kind of like crappy or um, brim. Mm. 
I'm going to try. I'm going to try this. That is good. I'm going to try a piece. Okay. I'm going to try a piece. Tell me what you think of it. Mm. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> um. Let's see what you think. Is it good? Mm. It smells like chicken. You like chicken? Yeah, well, yeah it smells it like chicken. Hmm. It smells like chicken. Now it does have a little bit weird, a weird taste in a way. I mean, it's really good. But I'm trying to picture or think what it tastes like as far as fish. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not really sure, but I know it's really good. Um, I don't know. It, it just tastes a little bit different than crappy or brim, but I don't know how to describe the taste. But it is really good. And my kids, you just ate it all from me. <laughs> <laughs> Them rascals are at kidding each other. Just kidding. But uh, guys, it was an awesome time out there, and I was gr grateful to catch just a few. So. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. We are all set. Got me a biscuit. A couple energy drinks. We are good to go out on the water. And what we're going to do today, we're going to basically just fish some docks for crappy and maybe maybe put on a gulp minnow maybe for like some panfish because i need some bait for catfish so see what happens there but we're just keeping it super simple i got a few minnows and hopefully we can get on some we should be able to if we cover enough docks so i'm gonna eat my sandwich and i'll see you guys when we get down there All right, guys, I'm gonna actually start off by dropping a minnow under this bridge for a minute, just to see if there's anything hanging out. Cause they dropped the water and I didn't know that. So I don't know if we can find any docks that are still in the water. Hopefully we can, I'm sure there are somewhere. I just don't know if there is any around here. So. All right, guys, I let that boat go past. So I'm actually gonna drop right in here just for a minute, just to see if there's anything around. Just gonna let it sit down there for a minute. Really have no idea if there's anything down. I mean, I wish I had a graph. It would tell me a lot. Need to get me one. Might have got a hit. Got one, guys. That was quick. Awesome, what is that? <laughs> it's a tiny crappy. Well, well that was quick. Here we go. Shoot, there's a there's a boat coming. I don't want them to see that I got a crappy. There he is guys, a tiny one, but our first one. I just need the big boys. And it only took a few seconds, so I'm gonna get over here to the side of this bank let this boat go through all right guys we're gonna head down to a dock i caught one under this bridge but I haven't got any more bites so we'll head down see if we can find a dock that's actually in the water i didn't realize they had um let the water level down so i don't know if that'll hurt us or not but we'll try to go find us a dock that still looks like it's pretty deep all right guys first dock see if we can't get something on it All right, you can see this creek mouth right here. We have been doing some docks and we haven't even gotten a bite. So what I'm gonna do, have a little um, weight on there. I'm gonna drop it down right in, in the mouth of this little channel or whatever you wanna call it. And uh, see if they're a little bit deeper. And hopefully we can catch something. And there's also some brush right there I see. So maybe we can get something out here and we still might go back and do some more docks, but I haven't even got anything close to a bite, so. Figure I might explore some deeper water and maybe we'll get something.
Guys, we got one. Yes. Yes, I didn't even know we had one on. We finally got one. Awesome. You know what? I believe he's big enough to keep. Yep. Finally, I didn't even know he was on, guys. It was that subtle. You know, we'll keep him. He's big enough, so. <laughs> it's not that big, but I mean, it'll have some meat, so. We'll keep him. Wow, guys, finally. Just needing that. I didn't even know he was on. I decided to come back over here and try some more docks. Pretty sure I was getting a buy right here. Got one. Good fish. Good fish. There's some crappie right here. Yes, finally. I found a couple. Oh, it's a brim. Actually, I need that brim though. I will take him. That's catfish bait. Guys, we got us a brim. It's not a crappy, but catfish bait, here we come. And that's two bites back to back, so maybe there is some crappy here. Let's see if we get another one. Hoping we can get some crappy out of here. But if we get some more brim, that's fine, because I really need catfish bait, so. Got one. Good one. Good fish. Good crappie. Yes, guys, good crappie. He had eaten it too, unfortunately. But we got a good one. Awesome. Guys, we found the dock. We found the dock. Unfortunately, he swallowed it before I felled him. All right, there he is. We'll get him on a stringer and hopefully catch a couple more. I mean, these are not huge, but they're big enough to keep and eat, so. All right, guys, we caught uh, a brim off this dock and a crappie, so we're gonna stay here a while because there should be some more, hopefully, here. And this is the only dock so far I've gotten bites on, so let's get back to fishing and get some more. Dropping it right back down in the same spot. Oop, already getting bite. Got one. Oop, another small one. We'll take it. <laughs> They're stacked up right there. Awesome, guys. Actually, that's a little bit. I'm gonna probably let that one go. I think that's just a little bit skinnier, maybe. I guess it's about the same size, but I think I'll let that one go. Let it get a little bit bigger. Goodbye. I'd like to keep it a little bit bigger if I could. Oh, I think I'm getting a bite, maybe. Got one. Yep, good, good fish. Mm. Eh, it's not huge, but it's another about the same size. And I think I'll keep that one. It's a little bit bigger. All right, guys. And this is another small one, but it's a little bit fatter, so I'm gonna keep him. He's still alive. We'll get him back down here. Alright. Oop, getting a bite. Got one. Yeah. Got another one, guys. That's just this is a draw and drop after another. Wow. 
which is pretty awesome. And they're all about the same size, unfortunately, but hey, we'll take it. Another pretty one, guys. About the same size again. We're going to keep him. Ooh, got one. That's a good fish. Good fish. Came up and grabbed it. That was a good one, guys. I just picked it up and he came and smashed it. Yes. All right, guys, there he is. Another pretty crappy. Get him back on the stringer. All right, back down in the money spot. Got one. Mm. Good crappy too. That's my biggest one yet. Awesome. Awesome guys. Biggest crappy yet. Alright guys, biggest crappy yet. Going on the stringer. Oh, I've caught a few. Yeah. Took me a while to find some though. Yeah, we've been looking. We went way back in the back here. Yeah. He's up in here maybe a week ago. Pretty good. Yeah. Got last scope on the kayak? I don't know. I just, I would love to have one, but I just They're go. Nice on the kayak. Yeah. Someday I want to get a boat, but we'll see. Well, yeah, but it'd be nice because then I can take my boys out with me and everything, so. But I bet it is nice, though, because you can see, can't you see your lure go down and get? Yep. Yeah. 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 All right, we did really well at that dock right there. We caught probably about six or seven but they stopped biting so and all those other boats tried all down in there and didn't really do very well at all or they caught like one so i think what i'm going to do is go upstream uh find a dock up there fish for just a little bit because i mean i already have a mess of fish and see if i can catch just a couple more if not that's perfectly fine because like i said we have enough but let's go up there mess around for a few minutes and then i'll probably head on back and we'll actually cook these up tonight so in my last video i cooked up some redfish down the coast in some like louisiana batter and it was delicious so i and it had a little bit of a hot tint to it so i think i'm going to try doing that with the crappy so we'll just go up here and fish for a little while and then this pardon me this evening we'll cook up these crappy and i'm i know they'll be delicious i love crappy so see you guys up here Perfect cast. Hopefully there's a fish in here. Come on. Got one. Yes. It is a brim, guys. What I needed. I thought it could be a crappy. Just by what they felt like. But, ooh, man, he's cold. Yeah, that's a cold fish. But there he is. Nice. Well, I think it's a brim. Bluegill, whatever. It's a panfish. Not sure kind of what kind, but it's a panfish. All right. Got one. Ooh. Yes, good crappy guys. That's a good crappy. 
I'm going for panfish and I got a nice crappy. My biggest one yet, guys. Look at there. Put him on a stringer. Got one. Yes, it's just another nice brim. Another pretty brim. Got one. Yes. Another brim. Getting us some, some good bait. Here we go. Well, I have had an amazing time out here. I've accomplished my goal of getting bait and getting a mess of crappy. So I'm gonna call it quits and head on back to the house and we will cook up that crappy tonight and it's gonna be delicious. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, I'm about to taste it. I've had crappy before, but I've never tried the Louisiana fish fry on it. So we're gonna try that, and I know it's gonna be good. So let's go ahead and try it. Delicious. All right, here we go. Mm. It's very good, very good. Wow, that is delicious. Mm. I love that fish fry because it has a whole bunch, like a, just a hint of hot to it, but it's not too hot. Mm. It's very delicious. Well guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.